since these traumatic events have taken a toll on those first responders. News 8's Tim Harpin spoke to several fire departments as they open up about their mental and physical health following those floods. It's been a difficult week for Connecticut first responders, including the Oxford Volunteer Fire Department, serving one of the hardest hit areas by last weekend's flash flooding. Long days, long nights, no sleep. I think last night was the first night that I was able to sleep a full night. Assistant Chief Daniel Gramigna says firefighters faced raging water, multiple rescues, and two deaths. Now they're bringing in peer counselors to help first responders process what they experienced. This is the time that we got to really watch our firefighters because, you know, all week they've been just go, go, go. He says firefighters prepare for dangerous situations like Sunday storm, but real life encounters are different. You can't train for the aftermath of what the firefighters go through to get through that, that scenario. And here in Beacon Falls, leaders say firefighters have responded to countless calls throughout the region, and thankfully they already have a program in place to address physical and mental health. EMS Captain Jeremy Rodrigo says that assistance includes daily check-ins and stress debriefs. Either they will be able to manage in a healthy way, or they'll turn to alcohol or depression or God forbid suicide or divorce, and these are all things that happen in the emergency services. Leaders say as first responders continue to check in with their communities, it's important to check in with themselves. We try to, to be there for each other and make sure that everyone is aware of the mental health aspects of the emergency services. Tim Harfman, News 8.